90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org worldwide. Not only worldwide, but we are streaming this video live right now. So welcome, everybody who's watching this great session. Noah Gunderson is back. Hey, Noah, how you doing, man? Hey, John. I'm good. It's always good to see you. We will talk more, but first, let's hear a few songs. She watched the valley burn like a slow dancer doing turns. My name was on every tongue. And all of the smoking ash, like a memory of the time gone bad, hanging like a shadow. So light it up again. Burn like a holy fire Light me up again If it makes you feel free Light me up again Call me a snake in the mud And I will be the fire That keeps you Under my halo I have trouble seeing clear You held my hand tight Waiting to watch me disappear I wasn't honest to tell you the truth I wanted it all but I want you to All of the lessons disappear Still Making my mind up, making my 
Making an effort is a start It's easy to die here It's easier still just to fall apart All the excuses, all the cop-outs Take it like a man and shut your mouth Yeah, I could make it on my own I watched my grandfather die I'm not talking until that's over. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Gutters, everyone's looking at each other. Who's going to stop that? Uh, who, who's making that noise? <laughs> <laughs> that's how all our songs end. You just look at each other. <laughs> Anybody's just, guess. When will the feedback <laughs> Well, you are in Seattle. Yeah. How about feedback? Uh, Noah Gunderson's live here on the morning show. And Noah, you know, the thing really that's lacking in your music is emotion. I just, there's... <laughs> Quite yeah. the opposite, man. You are people uh, tell me that all the I time. I love the emotion in your songs, and and you believe what you're singing when you hear your songs. I mean, you really do. You're living those songs. It feels like so. Thank you for coming in. I love the new record. Thank you. Yeah, it's Glad good to have you, like you back, it. man. Yeah, it's, it's good always, to be back. It's like checking in with an old friend. And exactly. Just, hey, where are you at? How's the record? Are you still wearing the same pants? We were. Uh, that was my favorite part of that evening, by the way. Was your announcement <laughs> that you and I were wearing the same pants? It's a. It's a rare thing. <laughs> it's a rare thing you see people wearing those pants. Is it for us though? No. Well, not for people of high fashion. And when style we're texting like each us. other ahead of time. Right. We're hey. always texting. And then exactly. You and me. And we were heading down to the Sounders event, which is where we like to. Wear wear uh, the same pants. Right. So to, hey, Noah, I'm going down. I know you're going to perform at this exclusive thing uh, for our listeners. What pants are, are you going to wear? Those, those the ones. The special those ones, ones that we went shopping together yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's my, when I think of you, I think of that comment you made because it was so funny. So glad you think of pants yeah, when I you do. think of me. I do. Uh, let's move on from uh, that to your band. Can you please uh, uh, tell us who's in your band? Uh, this is my sister, Abby, over here. Good to see you again, Abby. Uh, on violin and, and synth and piano. Uh, and then we got uh, my friend AJ back here from Nashville, Tennessee on guitar and feedback sound. Uh, <laughs> Is he the culprit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got my brother Johnny on the drums, uh, also singing. Uh, and then um, my friend Micah Simler over here on bass. Good to see you all. Friends and family in your band, as always. Yep. Wouldn't yep. have it any other way. Right. 
Uh, talk to me about the new record, too. You, uh, where were these songs written? Were they written on the road? Are they written... You seem to always be on the road, so I would guess that. But uh, Yeah, I don't actually write on the road as really? much as I would like. Um, yeah. There's not really the... the I'm kind of a, a solitary writer. Yeah. Um, so it's rare that you have the space to be able to do that. Right. Um, but... Uh, so there were some songs on this record that were written on the road, uh, but mostly written at home. One was written, uh, there's a song called Show Me the Light on the record that was written in like a basement green room in the freezing cold in Madison, Wisconsin. But, That's a pretty good uh, one. <laughs> the, uh, the rest of them were mostly written at home, um, just in between, uh, kind of actually while we were uh, shopping ledges and, and kind of you know the pre-release stuff for right. that I was I'd been writing throughout that time. For you, is is writing um, something you set out to do? Does it come to you when you go to a pad of paper? Is it something you have to plan out at all? It's something that I try to do consistently um, as much as I can. Um, but usually the process is just um, sitting down with an instrument and kind of seeing where melody takes me, and um, and sometimes. Stu- stuff comes out sometimes good stuff comes out sometimes a lot of times nothing comes out <laughs> um but i i try to show up as much as possible um that's that's the the way that's worked for me i think some people are more like methodical writers for sure. me it's just a matter of trying to show up and be available for whatever's coming in do you have a go to is it the band is it, is it family that you do bring these songs to and for perspective or hey am i crazy is this, what do you think of this um uh usually you know whoever i i don't know i, I think like when i write a, a song i'll usually show it to like my girlfriend first yeah that's probably um, a good plan yeah yeah what if it's what if you show it to your girlfriend and it's just like a like a relationship song well, so brutal <laughs> then what do you sometimes hey that, sweetie yeah. uh, this that's that's definitely been a, a fear at times <laughs> but um thankfully thankfully that hasn't those circumstances haven't aligned yet that's uh, good. where that's happened but um yeah it's usually with with her or or with um you know other songwriter friends i'll like record something and kind of text it to them and be like but i'm, I'm never it's more that i'm just looking for validation i'm not looking for criticism sure <laughs> just like please tell me you like this right right if you don't i don't want to hear yeah yeah just don't yeah. get so just silence <laughs> yeah. is a way to tell you <laughs> yeah. no and when you are you know you think about that right maybe you're writing a story about yourself or a poem or a song do you hesitate with some of the honesty in your songs do you hesitate to put that out there to the world maybe not just maybe because it's your own thing or you're just concerned about the people around you hearing it um thankfully i've never really had to deal with that um and i do get asked that a lot and it's kind of maybe there's a there's like a a a brain wiring thing that didn't yeah. happen right where like I should be <laughs> concerned about those things but um uh I'm not which I think has helped my my art um doesn't always help my sensitivity to other people <laughs> but um I'm working on that. Well, you got a lot of shows to play those songs and uh, get started in Vancouver, correct? Mm-hmm. Is that next Friday, week from 11, tonight? Yeah. Yep. And then the 12th, you're going to be at the Neptune here in Seattle. That's right. A lot of people excited about that and it looks like a long tour ahead. Yeah, we're going to be out for about seven weeks. I'm excited. And I'm sure by now in these different cities, you see familiar faces. You have such a um, passionate audience for your shows and yeah. they've really been built by your live shows, right? Yeah, and it's been just built by f- by fans. I think like that's the way, that's been our 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 business model is to build something uh, grassroots from the ground up and um, you know, I, it's more important to me to build a lifelong fan than it is to have some any kind of flash in the pan success. Um, although that sometimes maybe would feel good, <laughs> but uh, but I, I you know we have the same people come to uh, these shows for years now, uh, and they're bringing their friends, and so sure. it slowly grows, and um, that makes me feel good because those people are buying the records and they're coming out and they're supporting, and we couldn't do it without them. And a good lesson for up and coming bands and artists too. Exactly. Yeah, invest in your fans. That's Absolutely. The number one advice. Well, we've given advice for bands. Oh, That's good. See, yeah, it's an advice call. Public here. service yeah. here on we're the morning help, show. We're helping people. <laughs> and end your songs and feedback. Those are the yeah. two things I've learned so far. All right, do you have another one for us? Yeah. We're, by the way, if you're listening, we're live at kexp.org, uh, streaming this, and uh, of course, at 90.3 FM. Ready? Jealous love, honey, I had enough of it all my life, bringing me down. I don't want to 
Heartless run, honey, getting stuck Having so many words, but nothing left to say I want it better than I've ever had I want it better than Give me the good time KEXP, KEXP KEXP.org worldwide. Noah Gunderson live here. And the new album, Carry the Ghost, uh, just came out, out on one of my favorite labels, Dual Tone. And big shows coming up Friday up in Vancouver next Friday and a week from Saturday. You can catch Noah and the band at the Neptune. And Noah, I also want to thank you for all, we talked about that Sounders event, but also the new home events we've been doing. You did our first covers night, our petty night. Yeah, yeah, it was so fun. That was awesome, man. Thanks for doing it. What did you, what did you cover? We did, um, we uh, well, of course, since I was organizing, I <laughs> saved all the hits for me. It, it was your right. It was, yeah. So we did, uh, uh, see, we did Mary Jane's Last Dance. We did Free nice. Fallen. We did um, we did some stuff off the solo record, the Wildflowers record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it was so fun. It was great. Yeah, we, we've been doing a ton of these since then, so you sort of inspired all of you're these. Welcome. these you're welcome. Exactly. It's thanks to Noah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for doing that, and all the stuff we've asked you to do for the new home has been awesome. And, you know, as you sit in this room, you know, we're months away from moving, and it's 200 degrees in here. Yeah. <laughs> You probably are happy now that you've you're even yeah, happier. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sweating <laughs> out my happiness. I am personally inviting you and the band to the new home to awesome. play early, early when we get that thing set up. Um, and and the tour's coming up. Is it go through the end of the year? Are you able to get back uh, for yeah. the holidays? What's your plan? We're back in I think November third. I think we that's when we play Portland. That's our last show, so we kind of do a full circle. And then you're back. Then we're back for um, a little while. Um, I think I might be doing some stuff overseas in January, and then we'll probably be touring again um, after that. So. Do you do you has your life just you know you're on the road? That's just how you plan and the band plans. Yeah, or? it's uh, you know it's funny because I think people have this perception that I'm on the road all the time, which doesn't feel that way to me. Maybe right. maybe to people who don't who you know who haven't toured or or don't really understand it it may seem like a lot like for me like i've been home for three months this summer and it's driving me crazy (laughs) which is like the longest time i've been home in a while so um you know so i don't feel like i'm on the road an overwhelming amount of time i think like at the end of a couple tours i feel like that but 
that feeling goes away after about a month. When you think, maybe you don't, but when you think forward into your life a bit, are there times that you think you'll look back on during this time as some of the highlights, some of the cities you hit or experiences you had? Do you do you already know some of those? Have you had those highlights, you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's always shows that stand out in a tour. Um, I, I think there's, like, honestly, like, getting to, to play with this band and getting to know everyone in this band better by, you know, this will be our our third tour together yeah. as this as this uh, group um and i think all those just those times with everybody in this group uh, those are some of my favorite memories of being on the road and like you know even if we're a little cranky sometimes it's <laughs> like <laughs> everyone has a really great attitude and and um so so those are those are the, the memories that i cling to the most well you're you're here at our favorite time it's beginnings of tours mm-hmm. yeah we, we like that better when bands are in you can tell yeah. when it's the ending of the tour yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay oh, god i just want to be done <laughs> just want to sleep in my own bed that's right get me away from these people mm-hmm. uh all right you got one more for us gonna be from the album yep all yeah. right yeah. Sometimes Making songs for a living Feels like living to make songs And sometimes I get an uneasy feeling That I'm doing something Nothing really feels like home And I just want to be alone Calculate the hours to the power in the welding's dry I'm watching as the stage goes black How long until we be nothing at all, nothing but a spark in someone's eye. Am I giving all that I can give? Am I earning the right to live by looking in a mirror? There's nothing more sincere than self. And sometimes. I think breaking a heart could maybe be the start of some new page. And sometimes I play a couple war games using live ammunition so I can fix what I'm missing. Most of my songs are. Most of my songs are due to some broken people So I could write a single I'm watching as the stage goes black How long until we all go back To being nothing at all Nothing but a spark in someone's eye By looking in a mirror, there's nothing more sincere than selfish art. I'm watching as the stage goes black. How long until we all go back to be nothing at all? Nothing but a spark in someone's eye. Nothing more sincere than selfish art. Oh, there's nothing more sincere than an empty heart. Oh, there's nothing more sincere than who we are.
Noah Gunderson live here on Listener Powered KXP. Thanks, man. You sounded great. Thank you. Thanks for having Love us. Love that song. Talk about honesty. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so I just touched right on everything we talked about. <laughs> Way to wrap it up. And great job today to everybody in the room. You guys are a very talented Good band. Good job, guys. Yes. Give yourselves a round of applause. On live video, no less. The world watching. And uh, go see these guys live. Uh, it's easy to recommend these guys. Uh, Neptune coming up uh, on the 12th. And again, the tour gets started in Vancouver next Friday. And you guys, again, can't wait to have you in the new home. Thanks. To play. Yeah. Uh, big thank you to our team here, the video team in the room, and our audio team as well, Kevin and everybody, for making the band and us sound good. And a big thank you to our listeners who do support the new home and all that is listener-powered KEXP. Have a great three-day weekend. Enjoy Bumper Shoot. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.